Have you ever had a tenant steal power from you to power two, not one, but two mobile homes? This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you the footage I took with my phone that shows the extension cord coming out of a window of one of my units in a fourplex I just bought recently that was stretched across the road, connecting a lot of power cords together, extension cords together, all the way over to not one, but two mobile homes powering these mobile homes. Before we get started on this story, please click the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm putting out the very best content possible for real estate agents, and I wanna make this video because I want to start putting out more content around real estate investing because that's what I do. I do a lot of real estate investing. I'm always buying and selling. I have long-term investments. I have short-term fix and flips. Um, I do all kinds of stuff. So definitely subscribe and reach out if there's any questions, if there's anything I can do to help you in that regard. So yeah, at the time of this video has been about maybe four months since I closed on this fourplex. It's an older fourplex. I picked it up for 210,000. Okay, it's four units, 210,000. It's a really old, it was built back in the 60s, but it was redone in the 2000s, all the electrical and plumbing and everything. I had an inspection done and everything checked out really good. Foundation was really good, roof was really good. You know, everything was great. There were definitely some repairs that had to be made but uh, very minor. Um, we actually went into one of the units, moved the tenant to another rental property I had because there was a leak coming from the bathroom to the downstairs unit, because it's upstairs, downstairs, fourplex. Two units downstairs, two units upstairs. So we moved that tenant and we redid completely that unit. We completely remodeled it. Uh, we ripped the bathroom out, found the leak, you know, redid the entire bathroom, refloored it, painted it, new countertops, new appliances, the whole nine yards looks really good. So I'm really happy with this rental property. Um, the, the leases when I bought the property were around 700 a piece. Now this includes all the power and the water and the sewer and the trash. All that's included in the rent because it's all on two power meters. It's four units on two power meters. So I could get it split into four power meters and have each tenant pay their own power, but that would cost me about $15,000. So I decided I'm just gonna kind of fix the units up, up the rent to take care of that, and just leave it the way it is. Because it's, it's not a lot, the power bill's not that much per unit, because they're just two bedroom, one bath units. So the rent was about 700 a piece, give or take, uh, on each unit. When I moved the tenant out of the one unit um, and fixed it up, I'm now charging 1,000 for that. So I went up $300 on that unit. Of course, I fixed it up, you know, and I spent about $10,000 fixing that unit up, but now I'm getting $1,000 a month for that unit. So my thoughts are as tenants move out, I'm gonna slowly remodel each unit as those tenants move out and replace them with $1,000 a month tenants, therefore giving me 4,000 a month gross cash flow therefore giving me 4,000 a month gross rents that I can pay everything out of. So even at the 700 a month, I'm still cash flowing the property above my mortgage and all the utilities and taxes and everything. I'm still cash flowing at 700. So I'm really gonna be cash flowing really well at 1,000 per unit. So it was a really good buy, I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna continue kind of fixing it up and just, I plan on keeping this one long term. I'm gonna get, get all those rents up to 1,000 a month and just hang on to it and just ride that one out. Now, after about a month of owning the property and paying the power bill, I noticed that the second month's power bill uh, that I got on the property was way higher than the first month. And I thought, what is going on here? And so actually one of the tenants reached out to me before I could reach out to, to her and kind of ask her if she knew anything going on. She reached out to me and said that one of the tenants were literally powering up a, a mobile home next door across the street um, from that unit with extension cords running from that my unit to a, a mobile home across the street. And I'll show you the footage here in a minute of that extension cord running to the two mobile homes. It's kind of wild. But, uh, you know, that tenant was, when I met him for the first time that was living in the unit that stole the power, um, you know, he was nice, 
Uh, you know, I thought that I had a good tenant there, just my first impressions. He seemed like he was kind of handy. I think he was cutting the grass there and, and doing a few maintenance things. And so I thought, hmm, you know, this, this can't be a bad situation. But come to find out, he was still on the power and he wouldn't answer his phone. I went there, knocked on the door, he wouldn't answer. Um, so it was really a weird kind of thing. Um, so what ended up happening was his son actually was living in the unit with him that I own and I ended up talking to his son and his son didn't know anything about his dad still on the power. Okay, and the son works out of town so he's gone several weeks and then he comes back and then he's gone. And so he was actually the one paying the rent for the dad. Okay, so after I explained him what's going on, he said, okay, listen, I'm sorry about this. Um, I'll straighten this out. I'm gonna take over the lease for my dad and we're gonna get you caught up on the power bill. Or at least that's what I asked. I said, I need to be, I need a lease if you're gonna live there and I need somebody to get caught up on this, pa this extra power bill, which the extra power, um, to my calculations was about 200 to $300. It's kind of hard to tell because it's all, you know, in one power bill. So it's kind of hard to get an exact number on how much power they were using. But I figured it was about two to $300. So he said, cool, I'll take over the lease. We'll pay the power bill and move on. Um, so I thought, great. Well, here we go. Another couple weeks, never heard from him, wouldn't answer his phone. Next thing I know, they're just completely moved out. Now, what did I do about that, that extension cord? I went there and I unplugged all those extension cords and threw them across the street, okay? Um, they came back and hooked them back up. So I went over there and just cut it. And there's also a laundromat on the property that, that the people that live in the fourplex use. And so, they were also still washing their clothes there. So the dad actually had moved into those mobile homes, by the way, I don't know if I told you that, that the dad moved into those mobile homes. That's where he was living. And um, <laughs> so I guess they were waiting on the, the, you know, the power company to turn power on for the mobile homes or what, I, I don't know. I don't know what the case is, but they were still using the laundromat after they moved out of there. And they, were act they actually stole some clothes from one of the tenants that still live in there. And I had a stove came up missing in my unit that the tenants moved out of that we're remodeling. It was an older stove, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but it still came up stolen and is wrong. They also switched out where they were living, they switched out the stove to a stove that was horrible. There was a nice stove there and they switched it out with one that was not very nice, so I had to replace that as well. So all in all, it's fine. You know, those kind of things happen. You just kind of chalk it up sometimes and move on. It's not worth, you know, fighting them over at that point. But I just found that it was just a very interesting situation. And the thing is, is that since they moved out on their own, it made it so much better because I could just move someone right in there, which I did. Um, I went in there and did a little paint. The unit was in really good shape, but I just, I went in there and kind of just fixed it up and put somebody else in there. Uh, that rents 850 um, because I didn't remodel it the same way I remodeled the other one. And I didn't realize I could get a thousand for it until I rented out the one for a thousand and the people had no, they were just, they were ready to sign the lease for a thousand. So now I'm confident I can get a thousand for the other ones. Anyway, we had to threaten that guy with the cops. I text him, I said, listen, I know you've been over there. I know you've been washing your clothes. You know, there's been a lot of things come up missing. If, we, if I see you on the property, or if one of my tenants sees you, they're gonna take a picture of you on the property and we're gonna call the cops and press charges. And we haven't heard from him ever since. So anyway, here's the footage. Um, enjoy. Let me know if there's anything in the world I can do for you. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Okay guys, I'm at Pinewood and my renter here in number two he uh he did this concrete but he has this extension cord coming out of his window coming out of the concrete and running to these two trailers this is where we unplugged it This is where we threw it in this trash pile. But right here is where it continued all the way to this trailer.
and then it comes out of this trailer and it and it goes to this trailer so I have been paying the power bill for these two trailers for probably the last 60 days so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna add whatever is extra on the power bill this month onto the rent of the tenants in number two.